Welcome back to Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Rover, and today we've got a very special invention and some very special friends. Whoa. Hey, yeah. welcome Hi, to Crunch Labs. Thank you. I had snapped in the What's Up Mom Gang because their channel is full of wild ideas and fun experiments that kids can do at home. And today I need their help with a very wild experiment of my own. In front of me on this table is an invention that came from one of your brains. The trick is, to find out whose brain it came from. Because last week I asked them all to come up with their own idea for an invention they all thought should exist. And oh boy, did they come through. So I'm not really known for throwing away my snack wrappers. This robot throws it away for you. So my invention is a slime maker. This is a plane launcher because sometimes you can't get the perfect throw. Three flavors in one water bottle. And we gave all their ideas to my talented team of Crunch Labs toy designers and had them pick one to turn from a blueprint into reality. Here's the big reveal. Whoa. This dual arm launcher is mounted on a 3D printed base with synchronized rotating gears and a fully adjustable trigger point and all of it is fully optimized to catapult Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Let's see if it even works. Load it up, see if you can hit the camera. Whoa! Good. Who in the world decided it would be a good idea to invent a Brussels sprout launcher? None of you! Brooks! Uh, Brooks! <laughs> and I'm sure you're wondering, why the heck would Brooks want to make a Brussels sprout launcher? And the hint is, he kind of didn't. I want to see if someone could launch a Brussels sprout into my mouth. But before we see who wins the Brussels sprout catching contest, yeah! or whether this thing could level up to launch a small cabbage, <laughs> Let me show you how we got there because this journey isn't exactly straightforward because it started with my product designer Adam picking his favorite out of all the what's up mom's ideas. It's the door defender protects the door from your friends. Well, Ryder, you got to get some new friends and Brooks specifically caught his attention. When you have your snack, maybe your goldfish or your marshmallows or your popcorn and you throw it in the air and try to catch it. Why do you do so much work to throw it in the air when you could use the snack shooter 500 load in your snack? You press the button and it shoots. It could become pretty messy pretty fast, and I love that. Let's get to making a marshmallow shooter. So Adam set off to make Brooks's invention a reality over the course of a six second build montage. <laughs> Introducing the Snack Shooter 500. And while it looks great, you'll notice it looks nothing like the final product. And that's because this was only the beginning of the experiment. Because we gave the Snack Shooter 500 to two more kids and gave them no clue what they were looking at and asked them to guess what it was. I have no idea. But once we got their best theories, maybe shooting something. What do you think it shoots? Like an acorn. What? We then played the audio of their guesses of what this invention was to another blindfolded product designer. That confused me. And then we had her take her best guess on how to invent their best guess. And then we did it again and again. Oh no! Because this is the world's first ever game of Invention Telephone. So now it was Danielle's turn. Water. Maybe it could shoot pebbles. And seeing as how a pebble shooter could have led to some broken windows, we were fortunate that eventually put um, jelly beans. The kids honed in on snacks. Popcorn, raked up cookies, maybe some cheeses. <laughs> maybe some cheeses. How do you think it's supposed to work? You press this, oh, and then it shoots. I can do that. With these little things, I think we'll be able to pick a lock. And from there, Danielle started to blueprint. So I was definitely hearing the word snack. It seemed like there was a lot of like launching. The lock picking comment really confused me, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that. But that's all she had to go on. So Danielle finished blueprinting and prepared to event what was now known as... What do you think you would name this? Uh, like the mega shooter, uh, play Majiki. And over the course of a six second build montage, Danielle created the Mega Shooter Pulley Majig, a top-loaded launcher that's capable of launching a multitude of snacks four feet in the air. So we handed it off to two new kids for them to interpret, hopefully giving our next blindfolded engineer, Jovan, enough information to make something awesome. Uh, it's like a box. Hmm. 
Very interesting. What do you think it's used for? Um, maybe you could shoot rocks at people. Shooting rocks at people? Some kind of like music thingy. A music shooter box. I think it's like some kind of like 3D printer. Huh. Now that I realize it, this isn't a 3D printer. Okay. Can you think of anything to shoot out of that? Like a lot of stuff. Ping pong balls, candy. I'm jumping in popcorn, chocolate thingies, uh, gummies. Ooh, I like all the talk about tasty snacks. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. It seems like there's a lot of talk about launching food and tasty snacks. And Jovan was getting hungry, so he quickly got to work, taking his attempt at building what would now be known as... So what would you name it? Prankster catapult thingy. And over the course of another five second build montage, Jovan got ready to introduce the world to the prankster catapult thingy. A trebuchet design to send snacks really flying. So then we handed it over to the final pair of kids so they could explain to our blindfolded product designer, Bam. Let's see if I can draw while I'm blindfolded. What they thought it did. If you had homework and you wanted to crumple it up, you could catapult it into the trash. What? If I have a dog <laughs> and I, I'm too lazy to feed it, I put the dog food out <laughs> to the boy and the dog just eat it. This is adorable. Though there was a bit of confusion over how much this device should cost. Probably above like $10. $10? Jovan, what are you making? It cost like $80 or $90. Oh no! <laughs> $80, Jovan, no! <laughs> Could you think of a game to play with this? You like put popcorn in it? Like food catching. What else could you launch with it? Let's see, um, a um, small cabbage. A small cabbage? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So according to my beautiful notes, which I wrote while I'm blindfolded, it can launch anything from dog food to a small cabbage, which is absolutely adorable. And so Bam prepared to create her cabbage launching catapult, which was now officially named Mr. Launcher. Multi-item player. <laughs> But Mr. Launcher Multi-Item Flinger was a complicated beast. And soon enough, Bam realized Crunch Labs he was coming up hard. No! <laughs> didn't have cabbage-ready materials on hand. The cabbage fits on the catapult. However, I need a backup plan. <laughs> now we have a Russell Sprout Launcher. And this mid-game pivot... Well, that went real far. ...gave us the brand new, all-powerful Mr. Launcher Multi-Item Flinger. Go! Three, two, one. Rob Russell's browns are disgusting. All right, well that's how you go from the Snack Shooter 500 from this brain right here to a Brussels sprout launcher. Who wants another go? Me! Yeah. Big shout out to What's Up Moms. Wow! And if you want us to make your own invention, work with your parents, draw it up, tag us on our socials, and we'll catch you next time right here at Crunch Labs. Give it a good launch. Ha <laughs> ha